I keep clicking the wrong buttons on this stupid fucking camera. I have to get ready and get out the door to help Paige shoot some content. We actually have a whole girly day planned because we're doing that. And then we're gonna go to dinner later and then she's gonna sleep over. She slept over last week. She's sleeping over this week. I'm telling you guys, it's the year of girling. My toothpaste is like at its wit's end. Oh my God, one of my ex-boyfriends, like, I don't know if this is like, well, mm. when I look at a tube of toothpaste that's like running out, I take like a flat object and I like scrape all the toothpaste to the very top and I use like every last drop. I do that with like any product, you know? And then you just like squeeze it out and like this toothpaste has been like this for like two weeks and it's still going. But I had this one ex where he would look at the tube of toothpaste and it'd be like all crinkled and like fucked up. And he'd be like, oh, okay, the toothpaste is like done. I'm just gonna throw it out. And I would be like, what? I'd be like, you need to scrape every last bit out of that tube. But dude was just so wasteful. And you know what's hilarious is he was the brokest man. So not only was he so wasteful, but he was also so broke that you pick a struggle. I know you guys are like, what the fuck? <laughs> he told me that he made like six figures at the job that he was at and not 100K, like more than 100K. And then when he was cheating on me, I found out from the girls that he was cheating on me with that he was telling them that he was making like four hundred five hundred thousand dollars at his job meanwhile my theory is that he is actually in debt from sports betting because everything gets back around to me and I found out some information. Also, he was doing some sketchy shit while living with me. Like he didn't have a real debit or credit card. Also, I would find like stacks of prepaid gift cards in my dresser that I guess he would like buy the prepaid gift cards and then like put them into like FanDuel or whatever. DraftKings. Anyways, he was sus. And everything that he put me through, I'm allowed to call him a little broke bald boy, okay? That's right, bald too, he's balding. Obviously, I still have unresolved things inside of me. He was just the worst relationship I had ever been in in my life, and it was my most recent relationship. Well, not my one right now. My one right now is rainbows and sunshine, actually. Anyways, I gotta shut up. Anyway, we're... Okay. <laughs> I need to brush my tongue. If you don't brush your tongue, you're fucking nasty. You can use your regular toothbrush, that's fine. This shit's crazy. This is the Aura brush. Wet it a little bit, uh, brush. And then you're gonna go from the back of your mouth and like scrape from the back of your tongue, sorry, and scrape forward. Ew, rinse it really well. And that's it, nice, fresh, at uh, clean tongue. I am now going to take a quick shower and I'm just gonna wet my hair cause I'm gonna put a little hair mask in it and slick it back. The weather today is not it. It is rainy and gross, um, but yeah. Okay, this is what I'm wearing. It's nothing like crazy at all. I just have my super puff on. This shirt is from Intimacy. And then my jeans are Abercrombie and my boots are Chloe. Anyways, we're gonna go. Just kidding. I changed. Well, I just changed my pants. I was gonna wear the jeans and then I was looking at my outfit and I was like, honestly, like I could pull off a little cargo mini skirt. So here we go. Not a cargo mini skirt. Like a little cargo skirt is what I meant. So yeah, I have this little low rise cargo skirt it's from Princess Polly. Let's go. There's Paige getting her content. She has the cutest necklace on right now. I'm actually gonna show you guys. I'm showing my vlog. Your necklace. It is so cute. Cute. <laughs> the Cheyenne the wedding ring <laughs> We have the same engagement ring on, just in different metals. Oh my gosh. So cute. This is so us. Yeah, this is really us. Finally left that jewelry event. We're having salads. This is Seema, everybody. This okay. is my girly. <laughs> this is the girly that I brought up in my last video where I was like, oh my God, my ex cheated on me, but then we became besties. So now we're having salads together and girling. Obviously I have things going on later, so I'll talk to you guys then. I'm home. And Men can't do anything without women, okay? I mean, we already knew this, but like, that's just, oh, I should turn these lights on. Ah, much better, oh. Much better. Anyways, my man, my man, my man, my man. I had told him that I was going to an event today and everything, and I guess the man must have forgot because I'm at this event and he tries FaceTiming me fucking three times. I finally answer and I'm like, hello? And he basically called to tell me that he threw up and he has food poisoning. And I was like, oh my goodness. And so I talked to him for like a little bit, but I was like, I can't really talk right now, but I'll call you when I get home. And so I get home and the first thing I do is call him and he is dying. I just can't help but look at this man as like, you know, when you're a little kid and you go to your mom's nightstand and you're like, mom, I threw up in the middle of the night. That's how I feel right now. Like not him blowing up my phone during a work event just to be like, I threw up. <laughs> Men are so funny. I don't want to give them that satisfaction, but like sometimes 
they could be funny. They're funny when they need women. Anyways, I am gonna shower now, even though I showered earlier, because it is 5.30. Me and Paige have dinner reservations at 8 o'clock. And obviously, from earlier, when I did my slick back bun, my hair is like... Ah, oh, it is like crusted to my head and it has so much of that hair mask in it and I kind of just like want to wash it out. I feel like my hairline recently has been going through it. If anybody has any good like hair growth, like oils or things, like I'm really trying to grow like this part of my hairline a little bit thicker. It always tends to be very thin, but I feel like it's been like thinner as of lately and it's freaking me out. Anyways though, we're taking my hair out. Okay. By the way, the event earlier was so cute. Basically, Paige is working with that jewelry brand, but they make like really nice jewelry and they make engagement rings. And so the girl was like, do you want to try on some engagement rings? And I was like, yes. And my dream engagement ring is just like a very thin silver band with just like one big oval rock. But I tried on a few and the one that I actually loved the most, as you guys saw in the clip, was this one that was like thin band oval rock but it also had these other diamonds like around it and i didn't think that that was like a ring that i would like as my engagement ring but i really loved it like love the style so i don't know might have to do some recalibrating anyways um okay i gotta shower and get this out of my head we're at me see there's page i get their pasta sometimes to cook it at home it is so freaking good page is braver than the marines putting her whole camera up here i can't relate yet <laughs> We have the prosciutto di parma and these little biscuits that come with it. Now we got this fried oh mozzarella sandwich. Alright, we have this chickpea thing. Looks like a pie. Yeah, some sort of pie thing. One of the stars of the show. Ravioli. 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 Give me the formioli. Yummy. We got the olive oil gelato. This stuff is so good. So we're gonna go home and we're gonna eat this and we're gonna online shop. Everybody take. Okay, there we go. Say. <laughs> Double vlogging. We have the Misi olive oil gelato. Ice cream is made out of milk and gelato is gelato. made out of fancy milk. <laughs> I think gelato is ice cream. Isn't it made differently I think, though? I think the Italians just call no. ice cream gelato. Mm -mm. Here we go. Okay. No, because gelato is a cream. It's creamier. Ice cream is composed of fifty percent volume by air, and gelato is made up of twenty to twenty-five percent volume by air. So I think there's more cream in gelato mm -hmm. than ice cream. But when you think ice cream would be creamier than gelato, okay, that's the name. And Iceland is all greenery, but they did that. And on Greenland <laughs> is all ice, but they did that strategically to get the people to go to Greenland and kill them or so they died did you know that what that's why they did it <laughs> a thousand years ago yeah the vikings landed in greenland probably to hunt walruses for their ivory okay that's uh, irrelevant for their ivory tusks like, the vikings like were like yeah go up there like it's fucking green and like they were like yeah let's go and then they just like died because it was like ice <laughs> Basically. okay you learn something new every day gelato is creamier and the vikings are to fucking snitches, I guess. Yeah, shit. That's not the more you know. Going, you're going in my vlog. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's going in mine either, honestly. Anyways, goodbye. We're watching The Proposal, which is a classic, but I've never seen it before. Why so silent? Oh. <laughs> Who is that? Oh. <laughs> Who is that? It literally says Sandra Bullock. Right, I'm starting. Oh, that's my rent. Let's not get that in the frame. I'm starting the vlog like this because this stupid fucking cup of coffee is cursed. This is drama. This is this is news. Paige is putting panties on. Oh. <laughs> oh. This stupid cup of coffee is cursed. Me and Paige went to go get coffee this morning and this fucking cup just, oh my God, it's still spilling. Did you guys just see? That was live on camera. It did it again and I'm literally sitting. Something is happening with this stupid cup and it keeps spilling. I think it's like a faulty lid. I'm taking this lid off. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that coffee around the rim that shouldn't be there. Anyways, it was spilling all over me on the walk, just like everywhere, on my hands, on my coat. It was just an absolute train wreck. And it definitely threw my morning for a loop, especially because it is also raining and like not nice weather. Anyways, Paige's pants got fucked up in the rain. So we're gonna wash those. Me and her are doing a little work from home this morning. Cause obviously, as you guys saw, we had a slumber party last night, so. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna give you other ones that are like really like, they're more comfortable and flowy, but if you wanna wear those, those are fine. I don't know. 
I okay. just felt compelled. That's fine. Really I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Just walking around with my ass out, so I thought it would help myself. That's fine. This is my apartment. All butts and boobs are accepted here. All right, bye. If you guys haven't heard the news, Paige got robbed. She literally was in the subway station the other week. Some guy bumped into her and was like, sorry. She's like, oh, it's fine. And then like he walks away. She gets out of the subway station. And then she was like, oh my God. This dude took my fucking bag. off of my body. This man literally cut it off her body. So she's out on like a, what is it? Like a vintage Gucci purse. Yeah. A YSL man. card holder. <laughs> and like her entire life of cards and IDs and stuff. So we're Paige. So we're um, holding purses moving forward with two hands at all times. Yeah. Put your purse on your shoulder and then put your jacket over it. That is how we are going about our days in the not, meantime. Like, I'm not stupid. Like I've lived in the city for eight years. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I know what to look for and not look for. This man was just a pro and cut the purse off of my body. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, you know what? The purse had like a really thin strap. Yeah. Because originally we were like, how the fuck did he get the purse? But it has like a really thin strap. So the only logical thing would be that he cut it, bumped into her and zip. So those people that do that like for a living, they yeah, know they what the know fuck what, they're doing. They know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. Mm -mm. We're in my closet. So me and Paige are staying at the Ludlow Hotel tonight because the bathroom at that hotel, like in the rooms, is so cute. Me and Lily stayed there like two years ago just for the sole purpose of like shooting content in the hotel room and in the bathroom because it's just so cute. But Paige got a room because she wanted to film a sponsorship in the bathroom. She wanted to do like a get ready with me. And so obviously because every night is girls night and me and her are like stuck by each other's sides all the time. She asked if I wanted to go and stay with her in the hotel. So we decided to make a night of it. We're going to dinner, go to the hotel. It's gonna be a good time. But I have to get dressed, but I have to wear all black per Paige's uh, request because she wants to film that fucking TikTok. I'm sure you guys have seen like that couple on TikTok that's like, Pookie is looking fire today. There's an audio that's trending from one of their videos where he's like, Pookie's looking so fine in the all black or whatever it is. So Paige is like, you gotta wear all black tonight. So I'm like, perfect. And usually this wouldn't be an issue for me, but as of recently, I've been leaning more towards neutrals than all black. I could do my classic all black fit. There's like this little like tube top moment and I could wear that with this long black skirt. What if I do the top with these black pants instead? This top I wear all the time. It's like kind of off the shoulder. I could wear it with the skirt, wear it with the pants. Maybe I'll put this top on first. I definitely got deodorant on it. No, it's fine. All right, I need to like move my camera. These are like my go-to little oh my god my go-to black boots i'm putting them on without socks for right now just so i can see how ugh, how the fit looks i feel like i might like the other top better at least with the pants okay no, I don't like this. Immediately, I don't like this. All right, settled. Of course, I settled on the most basic black outfit that I own, but it's fine. Top is Princess Polly, bottoms are Princess Polly, shoes are Dolce Vita, and then I just have like some jewelry on, my hair, I'm leaving it nice and curly. I'm gonna go into my bathroom so you guys can see better. Hello. So yeah, I think this is, this is fine. I know it's fine. The only thing I'm thinking is if I pack my Uggs or not to go home in the morning, I packed like pajamas I'm just gonna wear because I gotta come home like fairly early because I have class tomorrow. And do I want to come home in pajamas with pointy toe boots? Like, I don't think so. So I think I'm gonna throw my Uggs in my bag and then we will be on our way. I also gotta finish chugging this Red Bull. So I'm gonna do that. Paige is up my ass and apparently Michael is there too. And I have not seen Michael in like a minute. So I'm excited to see him. Let's go. All right, I made it here. I'm just waiting for Paige to come and get me. She should be coming down any minute in the elevators because they won't let me up without a key card. Hey ho. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Oh, my shoes. Gorgeous. <laughs> Hello. Oh, we're vlogging. Ah, he's a vlogger. Oh again. my God, is back. <laughs> we have bevies in the lobby. <laughs> Obviously, I got my little mocktail. <laughs> Guys, they look like hot coworkers. You gotta put your foot up so you can see the sock. Boom. Hot coworkers. <laughs> there we go. No. Now it's recording. No. Yes. Yes. What? No. Yes. What's it gonna be? Yes. No. Boobs. Yes. No. Boobs. Oh! Girls night every night! And a gay. <laughs> He's taking a piss. A lemon squeeze. Oh, yummy. Guys, look at this. My god. Ugh. This looks amazing. There's Paige getting her vlog on, getting her aesthetic. 
take shots right. of our rig. We're about to dig in. Can you bitches see me? Can you bitches see me? Okay, Paige has Shark Tank playing in the background. I am doing my skincare. So I tried this new cleanser today because it, I had like a trial size of it. So I was like, I'm gonna bring it to the hotel. It's this one, no shade to this brand or maybe total shade because I don't like it anyways. Curel, it's the intensive moisture care foaming facial wash. Don't really like it. It says intensive care, like, you know, it's super moisturizing and everything. It says for dry and sensitive skin. My skin feels really tight though. I'm putting on like two layers of moisturizer. Oh, I forgot to use the La Roche Posay stuff. Paige has this stuff that I'm meaning to get my hands on. It's the La Roche Posay Cicaplast. It's like one of their like, or I guess I'll show you guys in the mirror. It's one of their like intense, like face moisturizer balm things. And obviously my dry ass skin, it should be pretty good. So we'll see. But anyways, me and Paige, obviously, as you guys saw before, we had a good little dinner. I'm about to do some work for Gin and Toxic and then we're gonna, Girl, watch Shark Tank or a rom-com or something and go to bed and then get coffee in the morning. That is our night. Goodbye. Okay. Buonanotte, bitch. OMG, good morning, New York. We have a beautiful view of the parking garage. Paige is in the bathroom, but we're gonna go get some coffee and perk up this morning. And then I'm gonna leave in like an hour because I have class and I have to coach today in my class. I never realized there was a statue. I know, I was sleeping and I looked Of the man? Oh my God, what the hell is that? Oh my God, it won't let me zoom in anymore, but I'll zoom in. I'll like crop it when I edit. Do you guys see that? What the fuck is that? You saw that while you were sleeping? Well, I woke up and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What? It's oh yeah, one. can't forget that. Yeah, I mean, Ludlow. That owns this whole street. I can't. This bitch is like, why is everything named Ludlow on this street? Like, you know, why does Ludlow own everything? I don't know, maybe because the name of the street is Ludlow? There's a man named Ludlow and he owns all of the streets in New York City and everything's called Ludlow Hotel, Ludlow Cafe, Ludlow this, Ludlow that, Ludlow Residential Building. Maybe the street is just named after somebody and then everybody bases their business, their businesses around that. Like that, that lingerie shop that you just saw the other day, that last night was called uh, Orchard, Orchid, I can't say that orchard, but whatever. I think there's too many Ludlows that it has to be like an affiliation of like an actual agency or something. Because there's so agency? many. Agency? Not agency, what's the right word? Like a uh, franchise, like kind of thing. You know what I mean? Because there's so maybe many. Own, maybe a few things. It might be like the hotel named themselves the Ludlow Hotel because they're on Ludlow Street and then they started building out all these things. Russ and Daughters is right here. Wow, it's like dead. See? Beautiful. We got the goods. We got a lox. Sandwich and now we're skinny. <laughs> what? I think that's the complete opposite of. No, we're splitting one because we're skinny. Oh, we're splitting one because we're skinny. Yeah, so true. But we're going to this Lazy Llama coffee bar now, and I wanted to go because I saw it on maps, and there's llamas on the cup, and I want the cup. So show your your llama. Get your llama in the shot. This is exactly what I wanted. I don't even care how good the coffee is. I just wanted the llama cup. Wow, the light is hitting it perfectly. <laughs> it looks. Like it's just glowing from within. Look at this fucking sandwich. Oh, yum. Cheers. Girl night is over again. again. It's okay though, we'll be back like next, next week, week together. <laughs> probably not at a hotel, probably in my apartment, but uh. Apartment's the best for sleepovers. I do, I do have the best apartment for sleepovers. By the way, I remember I was vlogging earlier and I was like, oh my God, the bathroom here is so cute. And I don't think I even showed it to you guys. So this is what it looks like. This is what I look like right now. I look like a rat, but I gotta go home because I have coaching to do. I have to coach in my class today, so. I need to go get ready for that, but I look insane. My hair is like unwell. I am unwell. I need a shower and get my life together. First time vlogging today. And we're gonna go meet up with Lily. I'm gonna meet her at Brooklyn Inn because I think she wants to get like a duvet cover and then we're gonna get coffee and then we're gonna girl and then we're gonna shop for things for her new apartment. And then we're just gonna be hot and fabulous. I don't know what to tell you, so. Kitty leaves us. The kitty just came charging out at us. Wow, what a nice warm welcome and then a brutal goodbye. Vlog, 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 vlog. Let's go, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Not this. We're gonna it's go get some coffee. Yeah, it's 6 p.m. But. Who cares? We just went to Brooklyn and we got her a duvet cover. And then she was like, great, now you can help me yeah. put my put fucking on. duvet on. Who doesn't That's love true, doing that? Mm, I hate putting a duvet cover on, but we're gonna help her do that, so. 
Yay. Okay, so we're at Lily's apartment. Before we start the Wait, tour, my room is though. so scary. Who cares? Oh, I care. No, but listen, Lily's cat has it out for me, Beanie. She's hiding. Where are you? Oh, there you are, you little punk. She hates me because I like traumatized her on Lily's last move. Hey. Well, I watched her when you went to LA. And she liked me. She's just a little bit nervous, I mean. Yeah, she's moving away from me. She fucking hates me. <laughs> Mommy, help me. Mommy! <laughs> my room! Okay, give me, let's see, the, the vibes in here are horrendous, but like. Horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> I got Lily this pillow. <laughs> I could not get rid of it, dude. No, you <laughs> simply can't get rid of this. The Lindsay Lohan pillow, I love the Neosaporin next to the bed. Yeah, in the trenches, babes. <laughs> Although the mirror looks gorgeous. The mirror's up! The mirror yeah. is up! I love this mirror. Where did you get this mirror? I stole it from an ex-boyfriend seven years ago, right out of his basement. It's mine. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's vintage. <laughs> it has a story. Come for me, bitch, I dare you. <laughs> I love things from exes. There's a cat shit, in case anybody was wondering. There's some progress to be <laughs> done. so much to do. There's Wait, I have to show you something really cool though, Christina. Okay. I don't know if Vlog, okay. But that nice. means it's not for the vlog. Goodbye. Okay. I know I didn't film the process, my bad guys, but what truly matters is that the Lindsay Lohan pillow remains yeah. on the bed. That's <laughs> the only thing that. that really matters. Look at Lily's room. I'm she like, did it all. I, I didn't touch it. <laughs> I did. I did the closet. Did that. Period. I did. Oh, yes, the Sony Andrew. I don't get it. I still don't get the little babies. Ryan, I love you so much. I'm so sorry. Oh I forgot God. about you in my vlog. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> my gorgeous baby. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> Miss Glow Recipe. Oh, oh, okay. oh. Wait, wait, this is actually a good I know. She did more than you in like a day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs>